Nope. And that'll do. Probably the best we're going to get with the amount that he's bought. I mean, my thought process was technically... I mean, this is this one's, yeah, just kind of on its own. I don't want these calves to kind of not have a bit of company, so I thought best to put them where they're facing each other. Obviously, we'll put a bit of straw in, you know, when we bring the calves. But I don't think we're going to separate the calves out, what we've got now. I don't know what George wants to do, but do you know what? For these being delivered today, I think I've done a good job. They're not light, I'll tell you that now. Dragging them in place. But I think this is all right. Got a bit of cover, obviously, and that's important. I think George will be happy with that. I really do. I'm hoping so, anyway, because I don't know what else to do. I mean, it's got to be all right, isn't it? I mean, he's just so picky, George. He's fussy as hell. He'll come in and say, right, change it all up. Get out the bloody way. Oh, you bloody bugger off, will you? Bloody ducks. I'm telling you now, these bloody ducks are a pain in my backside. <laughs> what is he doing? Bloody hell. Oi, is that you? Yeah, it is. Move these bloody ducks out the way. What, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Just shoo them? Oh, bloody do summit. Come on, come out of the way. What oh, bloody cheek of that one. Don't move. What's wrong with it? <laughs> I don't know, George. What do you want me to do about it? I'm not, you don't hire me to move ducks. Well, that's it. I'll bloody run one over. Then you won't. You know you won't. I know I bloody won't. I'm fed up with these ducks. I'm glad they haven't had any more yet. With four. The bloody four ducks, right? If I start getting more, I'm telling you now, Scroft, I don't think I can do it. I, I can't do it no more. What, what are you going to do? I'll build a pond. Where? Another one, somewhere miles away, and I'll take them all and just leave them there. <laughs> I like them. You bloody would, wouldn't you? You're not right on the edge, you aren't. Well, I just think it's nice, isn't it? I mean, compared to Carmson, it's nice. It's just got a few ducks roaming about. I think we should start feeding them proper, George. You, no, 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 we're not. No, no. Whatever they're feeding on now, I don't know what, no, but it's got to be scraps. They're all rampant. Look at them. Hell. I don't trust him, I don't, Scroft. I don't trust him, what, not one bit. How can you not trust a duck, George? Well, they just don't look right. That's the way they look at you. <laughs> I don't even want to say to that, George. They're happy, right? They're happy here. Leave them be. I mean, this trough's always empty, so they're obviously eating. Are you bloody feeding them in that trough? Right, I'm moving it. No, I don't feed them in that trough. I just feed him. Oh, how many times when he tell you if you keep feeding the bloody ducks we'll have hundreds before you know it. That's not such a bad thing is it? What do you bad think? Oh you want about we can't have ducks on this farm scroft. I'm telling you now we don't do ducks. We got cows we got pigs and that's about it. I thought we were getting some sheep at one point. Well fine we'll get some bloody sheep and I'm not having bloody ducks. Well unfortunately for you George this is part of the you know Natural habitat. Bloody natural habitat. How's that a natural habitat? It's a concrete yard. <laughs> I don't know, George. Hey, what are you actually trying to do? Well, I'm bringing me tractor out. The hell, George? You to get the dust off it? You cheeky bogger. Well, I didn't need to. I'll keep this in good nick. Well, why are you bringing it out? Anyway, what are you doing? Well, I'm waiting for that delivery from Ross. When he does, I'm going to get out in that field and I'm going to get them weeds out. I want to get out in the field. Ooh, bloody hell, fair play to you, George. That gives me a chance to do some mowing then, I guess. No, oh, bloody will. Well, he ain't too far away now, so when he's here, I'll, I'll, I'll happily just plod along, do some some weeding. This tractor will pull it. I think it's perfect for this job. Yeah, probably is, George. I mean, I don't even know what weed you bought, to be honest. Well, it's a pretty decent one. Anyway, forget that nonsense. Move these bloody ducks. And have you sorted them egg glues out? I have, yeah. They're all sorted. Do you want to come have a look? Oh, best do. You never do a job right. Hey, George, I do a good job. Puh, good job. I can't get the staff. That's why you're still employed. <laughs> you're a miserable bugger today, aren't you? A bloody mi... I ain't a miserable. It's just them ducks. They drive me insane. Oh, no, in all fairness, that'll do, won't it? I mean, really. I didn't think you'd fit them all in. Well, I've tried to make it so... You know, if the calves are in here, they can, you know, keep each other company. They're looking across at each other, aren't they? And we can still get in between and muck out when needed and, you know, 
feed him the buckets. I mean, they lift up pretty well as well, George. So you got space when mucking out. So if you take, obviously, you know, you got your calves and you moved them over somewhere else. You know, they've, they're getting too big for it. We can always come in and muck out. Easy enough. Uh, you can muck out. I can buy you a shovel and a, and a wheelbarrow any day of the week. <laughs> I know. What am I thinking, eh? Of course it's me mucking out. Well, anyway, I'm just saying it's, you know, easy to get through, isn't it? It's the, the only one I was thinking about is this one here. I mean, it's... I just hope it'll be all right in there without any company. It's got company? What are you on about? Well, the others are facing each other, aren't they? And there's, you know, this one down at the bottom here, you can still see two over here, and it's just that one. I don't like the way it's sitting, I'll be honest. You're overthinking it. It'll be fine. I know, I know. I just think it'd be the, like the lonely calf. A bloody lonely calf. What are you on about? They're never lonely. they got you here every day and they got me here every day. They'll never be lonely. I know, I know. Anyway, I'm going to get out in that grass field, George. But my question is this. What is the plan with this grass? Because I know you want to do silage in that bunker. I bloody do. Ah, it's cheaper. Cheaper than doing bales, especially nowadays. I know that, especially wrapping and all that when you have to pay for all that. It's probably better just get contractors in for that one big job, innit? Well, ah, well, my plan was, we mow the field, we ted it, if needed. I don't think we will, but if we need to, we can always ted it, and we can row it. So when they come in, all they've got to do is chop it, put it into the bunker. We can do the compacting, that's not a problem at all. You say we, but do you mean me? Uh, to be honest, I don't mind doing a bit of compacting. It's quite a relaxing job. Fair play, George. Well, I think that's a good idea. But that small field, if we wait for the other field to grow, that, that grass will, won't, it won't be good not to put in that bunker. Oh, well, what are you thinking then? Well, I'm thinking we mow it now and just do some bales from it. Depending on the weather, I mean, it's nice. We're only in April, but it's not bad weather. We could even do some hay bales. Oh, well. Well, we've got to mow it and that's that. I get that. I think the sooner we mow it, the sooner it will grow back and be closer to the other field. So, yeah, definitely mow it. And if we need to make some hay bales, we'll do it. And if we need to make some silage bales, we'll do it. Depending on the weather, eh? Ah, it's a good idea, George. I mean, if we do hay bales, you know, Beanie will buy some off us for certain. For, for, uh, Winnie. Well, we uh, Doing favours for Beanie now, are we? Let me guess. You want me to sell them cheap? <laughs> no, no. I mean, you decide how you sell them. They're your bales, George. I'm just saying. Someone there, straight away, will buy a few bales. Well, the hell, what do you think that horse fee's on? Didn't go and eat all them bales. Well, the hell, Firescroft. I know that, but she's on about getting a foal, isn't she? So, we can have some extra bales. You're bloody smitten on that, lass, aren't you? All we ever talk about is beanie this, beanie that. Well, the hell, you keep your eye on the price, Scroft. This is the farm. you got to work your socks off on here. That's what I pay you for. I don't want to see you slacking. No, I want to slack, George. I'm just making a suggestion. I know what you're like, your age. Just saying, the farm becomes before anything. I get that, George, I get that. Anyway, I've got my own farm. That comes before this one. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you, oh, you, how can you say that? If it weren't for me, you'd be bankrupt. And you'd be unemployed. Bloody. <laughs> I'll leave him alone with that thought. Hey, look at that. They have grazed that grass really well. I mean, there's only a few cows, and look at them. Definitely uh, made a good dent in that. I just wanted to come out and check on them, see how they're getting on. I think they're really happy enough. I mean, George's got to figure out getting some more, some more cows soon. Hmm. Anyway, let's go get the mower set up. I'm sure Ross will be here soon, but we can get set up. Hey, up this calf. Is it all right? You right, buddy? Yeah, it's all right. Uh, plate, uh, plate. Yeah, be interesting to see what type he goes for. We're going to go for standard Holstein? Probably, knowing George. I mean, you can't go wrong with them. Perfect milking breed. Well, what are you doing? Nothing. Why? You can get out your hands off that bloody mower. I know what you will like. Anyway, I'm glad I found you. Just text me. Who has Ross? What? She'll be here any second. I'm glad you're here. You can talk to him. Yeah, no worries, and I'm, I want to stick around anyway, I want to know what you've got. Well, you'll see soon enough. Hey, these pigs are alright, aren't they, George? Bloody best animals I've ever had, they are. 
They don't want nothing. We, I just leave them be, and next thing, oh, life's a bliss. They don't want a bloody thing. I know. I don't think we fed them loads, have we? No. It's weird because they say they eat anything, but they don't eat that much, really. No, they aren't bad, are they? They aren't bad. Hey, where is he? Like I said, he texts me. He'll be here in a second, don't worry. I think he's here now, George. What the bloody hell's that thing? Is he off his marbles? Why? <laughs> well, look at it. Right, that is it. I'm telling you now, he's not normal. What is that? It's like a bloody pirate ship. How's that not tipping up? Bloody hell, fire. What an absolute blonker. <laughs> I mean, look at it. How's oh, that not tipped up? What's wrong with him? What the bloody hell have you done there? What? I don't know what you're on about, George. What? 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 What's the problem? I've just dropped it off like we agreed. I know that, but bloody hell, it's like a pirate ship. Why have you got a sail on the back? What? Well, I don't know what you're on about, George. I've made a sail. I sold you these. That's why I'm dropping them off. I know you're bloody dropping them off, and I know you sold them me. But how did that thing not tip up? How's that safe? I bought them, and if they broke, that'd be it, that would. I think you're overthinking it. Just get them bloody off the van. <laughs> uh, bloody talk to me like I, I bought these. Scruff, just calm him down and get it off the van, please. I've got somewhere to be. I also want to go down there and get myself some donuts. Uh, donuts? Well, don't have them all. I'll have as many as I want. Why? What's it got to do with you? Well... I go down about this time every day. And if there's none left, I'm not going to be happy. And well, that's just irrelevant, isn't it, really, George? At the end of the day, I'm sure they make plenty for everyone. Well, I'm telling you now, if I get down there and there's no donuts, there'll be hell to pay, hell to pay, and I want to be coming back. Uh, you're a strange one, aren't you, really, George? You're a bloody strange one. Strange one. Listen, right, I'll just get them off now. Well, take your time, because I'm going to go down donut shop. What? I want to get some myself, so are you going down there because I said that? I, I mean, you best save me some, George. I think that's only fair. I, I never get down there much. Now I've dropped these off for you, I thought I'd go down. Well, whatever's left after, you know, I'm sure they make enough for everyone. Well, you're a bloody bugger, aren't you, you? Well, I'm a bugger. You're a bugger. Right, get these off, Scroft. I'm going down. Take your time, Scroft. Well, I mean... Right, I tell you what, how about you two walk down and see who gets there quickest? What well, bloody will? I bloody will. Right, well, that's it then. Where are we going? I'm cutting across your field. Oh my god, what are they like? Secretly, these are going to be best friends. Well, I'm winning. You're not bloody winning, I'm bloody winning. This is my field. I didn't give you permission to walk through this. I'll, I'll walk where I want. Thank you very much. It's the public footpath. Public footpath? Where's the public footpath? I'm on it. Oh, it bloody in. This is my garden. Not very nice garden. Oh, I tell you what, I'm starting to like you less and less each day, Ross. Well, I don't really like you, I just like your money. You cheeky bugger. Oh my god. I think you know when you've hit a point, don't you? When you're watching two grown men race into a donut shop, but actually walking. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Anyway. Let's get these off. I mean, sometimes, honestly, he, he amazes me. He really does amaze me. He's nuts. He's nuts. Has he left the keys in here? I bloody hope he has. Right, let's go get these off. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have a look at them. I mean, from what I just saw, that sprayer is pretty decent. Fair play to George. Still haven't made him an offer for that as well. And I did notice he didn't even offer that to Ross, so I think he's holding out for me to do that because of what I said. And if that is the case, well, I have to, you know, definitely have to snap it up. Do you know what? Let's use this. I bet you any money's left his keys and he has. This is what George will get when he races off to get donuts. We'll use his precious Ford. See, ducks aren't a problem at all, are they? What are you doing? 
What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm setting up your tractor. Oh, that's all right then. In fact, you should have asked me to get that out. Oh, George, don't be so silly, man. Come on. I'm set up for you. You want to get out in the field? All right then. Are you enjoying that donut? I bloody am, huh? And I got there first. <laughs> and I know him by our first name now. All I had to do was say, I'll the normal, please. And that was it. Happy as Larry. Well, there was some left for him, wasn't there? Ah, oh, there was some left for him. Do you know what? In all fairness, we stopped talking to each other halfway down. It was pretty awkward. <laughs> I can imagine. He's all right, Rosses. He ain't a bad. He's a right. I'll give him that. But he is a pain in the backside. And he's off his head. I mean, who drives a truck that small with that kind of kit on? It did look like he was sailing to sea. I'm telling you that now. It looked like he was crossing the Atlantic, that lad was. I don't know what's wrong with him. Well, <laughs> I agree with you there. That was a bit crazy. But they're here now, and they're safe. And that's the main thing. Ah. Uh, right, well, we all set to go. Yeah, you're set to go, George. I'm going to get out in that field and mow. Hey, the bloody sprayer, George, is, is excellent. Bought a good one there. Well, to be honest, he said that it was battered and he had to replace a lot of parts so it was actually a good price really because I imagine you know that, uh, at one point he probably got it for really cheap because of the state it was in but he said he fixed it up and you know we'll see how it goes because I said to him the first time I'm buying anything from you if it works and it's reliable lasts out I'll come again because you know me I'm always up for second I'm brand new and if this guy delivers well we'll go back to him well said, George. I'm, I'm liking this new attitude towards Ross. Uh, no new attitude. The guy is still a pain in my backside. But, like you said last time, if we save money, it's best for the farm. Exactly. Right, well, I'll leave you to it then, George. Well, all right then, buddy. Have fun. Same to you. Enjoy your donut, man. You didn't get me one, did you? Sorry, mate. Uh, I was too occupied trying to beat Ross. <laughs> no worries. Off his head. Off his head. So yeah, look at the size of this thing. It's a beast. An absolute beast. It's interesting to know, though, that it was in such a bad state before, but let's hope it works now. Right, this is what we're after. We're after this. This is what we need. Get the mower out. I mean, we'll have to check the blades. It's been a while, and we've moved it, obviously, since, since we last used it, which is up in Calms. And so, I mean, yeah, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I'm hoping we've got spare blades. I'm sure we have. Joe's brought a lot of the stuff from Carmson and placed it in that shed there. So if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be there. We've got two bunkers here. We've got this one and we've got that one. Now, I think George wants to use this one because of the cupboard. Now, I agree completely with that. I think it's a, a no-brainer. It will keep the, you know, the Sarge in good check. So maybe we can start storing a few bales here, you know, Silage bales, anyway. Just, well, just so we got better access to it. I'm just trying to find some blades, just in case I need them. Ah, there we go. Happy days. Box of blades, just in case, eh? Just in case. I'm trying to think what track to use. I might actually go with the, the fence on this one. I mean, the, the mass would do it fine, but I do love this fence. Do you know what I didn't do? I didn't speak to Ross about uh, the Leyland. I mean, that distracted about the donuts. Yeah, even I was at the end. I was amazed, really, at what I was witnessing. <laughs> hey, look at him go. Look at him. He's living the dream out there, isn't he? You can see the section, there's a lot of weeds there. I think some of them are too too big for that. I mean, he'll pull, he'll pull a lot out of there, but... I don't think he's going to get all of them, I'll be honest. Let's have a quick look. No, you can see there's still some. So he's... Uh, oh, I'll give him a bell. Just to let him know. He probably knows. Let's ring him up. Come on, George, you're right there. How can you not answer? Hey up! Have you seen the field? Oh bloody half, but it's doing it very well, is it? No, it's not. I mean you're getting the most of them, don't get me wrong, but there's still some. Oh, I probably should have used herbicide scroft. No, I mean you're gonna have to make that call, George. 
and we've got the sprayer now. If you want me to go back out after and herbicide it, but I mean the the best thing is you're getting most of it, aren't you? And if we have to have a bit of weeds in there, it's it's one or the other. But I think probably you know as they get a bit taller, maybe a bit of herbicide. All right then. Well, that's more money. Herbicide costs a fortune. I know it does, George, but the hit we'll take on the the yield as well and the quality of that product, especially when we're harvesting that. I mean, we'll be having straw with weeds in it, stuff like that. Well, I know, I know. We'll have a look at it when it's done, now. And then we'll make a call. Right, well, I'm, I'm in the field now anyway, so I'll leave you to it, okay? All right, then, buddy. See you in a bit. See you, mate. Mad man. Mad man. Right, let's just che check the RPM on that one. Should be good. Quick look, obviously safety first with this. Oh my god, it take my arm off. Well, it looks alright, doesn't it? It's fine, let's get going, eh? You love this tractor. Go around the headland first. See that it's quite wet as well. There's wet grass. I mean it is April after all though. But uh, yeah, that is quite wet. Hey up, bud. How'd you get on? Uh, I enjoyed it, but I didn't do a good job, did I? I think you did a cracking job, George. It's a lot better than it was, but some of the weeds are just too tall, aren't they? They're just too far in. Well, herbicide it is then, I guess. Seems that way. I mean, you can do the other field if you want and just say you're just using... Well, we're going to have to use the same amount of herbicide, aren't we, actually? Oh, no. It's your call, George. I mean, if you get some of them out, it's always going to be a good thing, isn't it? Like using that, then obviously herbicide. Oh, I know, I know. I'll figure it out anyway. I'm done for the day. <laughs> what do you mean you're done for the day? <laughs> You've only done one field. I know, I'll do the other one. Don't bloody worry. <laughs> right then. How'd you get on with the mowing? Not too bad, honestly. Fine. Well, grass is a bit wet though, so it definitely needs to out even if we make silage. Alright, no worries. Well, we've got a good sized tedder now, haven't we? Yeah, we have. I changed two blades as well on the mower. Oh, no worries, buddy. Hey, is that Beanie? I think it is. Hey, up, Beanie, you alright? Hi, how are you two? Oh, we're alright, love. We've just been doing a bit of farming, you know how it is, getting out in the fields. Yeah, even George is out in the fields today, Beanie. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're both enjoying yourselves. 
Ah, oh, it's all right. Well, it's been fun. It really has been fun. Nice get out and about. Trying out some new kit we bought. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? To be honest, I, I think we're doing all right, aren't we, George? Yeah, we are. We're doing all right. We're getting some more cows soon. Oh, and Scroft's told me that you might be interested in a bit of hay. He's uh, maybe going to make some. Depends on the weather, like. But we've cut the small fields, and we're going to either do hay or we're going to do silage. So if you need any, let us know. Ah, oh, hay would be perfect. Um, I'd definitely buy a couple of bales off of you if you end up doing the hay. All right, and love, no worries. Well, let us know anyway. Before we go, how's uh, how's Winnie doing? Oh yeah, she's doing she's doing a lot better. I've just put her in a stable to cut down on her grass, and to be honest, I think she needs a bit of a clean. Well, I can tell she has got a bit of mud on her. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm not too sure what she got up to at the vets, but yeah, that's how she came back. <laughs> she obviously had a bit of fun. Well, at least she seems better. Right, well, I'll leave you to it, Beanie. Good to talk to you again. Yeah, same to you. See you later. See you, love. See you later. You bloody love her, don't you? <laughs> what are you about? You love her, I can tell. Oh, it's nice to talk to you again, Beanie. Bloody hell, George. Is this how it's going to be? You're just going to take the mick? Oh, you're not taking the mick. I'm just saying. Anyway, come on, let's go have a brew. I'll put the kettle on. Well, you won me over, clearly. See, why can't you win with her over that easily? I'd go on a date with you, even if you just offered me a brew. <laughs> That's great to know, George. I'm glad you'd go on a date with me. I've made it now, haven't I? What are you trying to say? I'm a catch, I am. A right good catch. You'd be lucky. You'd be lucky of me. <laughs> George, I already feel like I look after you. But he look after you. Yeah, I'm the one that pays, pays you, aren't I? Yeah, but I have to do everything. Anyway, shut up and get that bloody kettle on. <laughs> Alright then.